calculate Z scores for observations using Excel. So I'm using a data set called earnings per share. And so on the left hand side here, you can see in different years earnings per share and it goes up and down. The purpose of this is to find out whether there were any outliers. As usual, the best thing to do is to take a look at the data. So I put the data into a pivot table and then got a histogram of the uh, distribution of the data. So we can see that it is skewed to the right and it looks as though there might possibly be an outlier here on the right hand side. Let's check that. So what we're going to do is we're going to work through this uh, formula for getting the Z score for any particular edu uh, observation. So that I means any particular one, any one we like. It doesn't mean any has to be this one, has to be for all of them. We're going to get the individual Z score. So the XI is the observation. So that would be any of those that we pick out of the whole list that we have here. Uh, X bar is the mean and S is the standard deviation. So the first thing to do is to find the the mean and the standard deviation of the data set. So here I'm going to go equals average as usual and then just scroll down get in the data find out what the average is because we're going to need that aren't we. So the average is 34.857 and I'm also going to need the standard deviation So there's the mean and the standard deviation. I think we have too many uh, decimal places, so I'm going to decrease the decimals uh, down to one. One's OK. You know, it's very OK. So the data is already in one, so we don't need excessive uh, accuracy. Now I'm going to go here, and I'm going to make a new column, and I just call it Z scores. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow this equation here. We're going to work out, so we're going to have a column where each element, that's the year, has the z-score for its observation. So equals, as usual, then put in brackets, click on the observation. Here it's 50.2, so click on that. And then later we can drag it down, minus, and then I'm going to put in the x-bar. So we're here, xi minus x-bar. So I'm going to type in 34.9, close the brackets, and then divide by the standard deviation, which is 17.8. And that gives me a z-score, that's the, the, the z-i for the observation 50.2 is 0.859. So that is the number of standard deviations that 50.2 is away from 34.9. Now we can drag it down using that little corner and we get our whole list. I'm going to reduce the number of ops the down. Okay, so now we've, we can see the Z score for each observation. Now we want to check whether or not there are any outliers. So if a Z score was greater than plus three, or smaller than minus three, it would be an outlier. Are there any? Let's have a look here. Oh, this one looks here. 2.9 is high, isn't it? And that's 86.3. So the Z score for 86.3 is 2.9. So that would be right here on the right hand edge of our distribution. However, it's not three. So we cannot classify that as an outlier. Negative Z scores, that's smaller than 3, so maybe minus 3.3 .3 or something like that, would also be an outlier, but we don't have any. We have some negative Z scores, which means that the observation is smaller than the mean, but nothing of that size. So in this data set, there are no outliers, but this one comes pretty close. Thank you.